Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. One of the new features we've just introduced to the Focus Blue Braille display line is one-handed mode. This has been a feature that a lot of people have requested over the years, and we're finally able to incorporate it into the Focus Blue's firmware. One-handed mode is, just like it sounds, intended to accommodate people who want to enter Braille using just one hand. This can be very useful if you've got any issues with motor control, other things that just make two-handed Braille entry difficult or not possible. One-handed mode uses the space bar to enter space commands, and that's your delimiter for commands. And I'll, I'll demonstrate that so it makes sense. The way I said it perhaps is a little bit confusing. Let's invoke one-handed mode. So I'm going to tell you two ways to invoke one-handed mode on the Focus Braille display. I'm only going to show you one, in my opinion, the handier of the two ways. The other one's a little more drawn out. The way that you can do this, uh, and it's, it's easier, you won't have to remember the command, is you would tap the menu button. I'll have to do it twice because I have an active connection with my PC. You'll notice that the status line has come up. For those of you who can see the display, you've got the clock changing over here on the left. Battery percentage here. The circle indicating the battery is charging because we're connected via USB to the computer. And over here, the letters USB indicating that connection. So because there's an active connection, I'm going to press the menu button one more time. Now we're in the menus. I can use the rocker bars up in the front. We'll navigate up to one-handed mode off. For those of you who can sight read Braille, it says one-handed mode off. Uh, I can invoke that from here. Press right shift to take us into that item. Let her, the words off appear here. If I rocker bar up or down, it'll change state. It says on. I can accept that change by pressing the right selector button. Remember, but the right selector buttons are the buttons that are just immediately to the left and right of the shift keys, and they have the concave, the dished in the feeling top. I'll press that right selector button. Just so you remember, don't press the left selector button unless you wish to escape from that without saving any changes. Left selector takes you back and out. Right selector accepts the change. So we're back into the configuration menu itself. I'll press the selector button, the right selector button, one more time and we're back in Microsoft Word. So, we've turned one-handed mode on. The quick way to do that is by pressing and holding the left shift button. I'm going to do it with my left thumb. And you press dots one, two, three, and seven all together. That will toggle one-handed mode off and on. Once one-handed mode is invoked, and I mentioned this a moment ago, you must end any command, any character inputs that you wish to perform with the space bar. Now, what makes this very useful and unique is that I don't have to press all of these keys simultaneously. I can press them one at a time and then terminate my keystroke with the space bar. So if I wish to enter the word mm, hot, I can press the letter H, which is dots one, two, Five. I'll do that now and I'll press them one at a time. That's one, two, five, and the space. I'm going to do the O and I'll try and keep my hand out of the way so you can watch that transition. So it doesn't matter what order you put these in. I did them as dots one, two, and five because forever and ever we think of our braille and we list the dots in numerical order, but I could press the letter O by entering dot five, dot one, and dot three followed by the space. And finally, the letter T, dots four, five, three, two, space. There's the word hot. Ah, but what do I do if I want to enter a space? And some of you are already saying, I know the answer to that. Uh, for those of you who may not have figured it out, remember we, we end every command with a space, so it would be space, and then space again. And there's the word hot. Okay, and you notice, for those of you who can see the screen or your sight reading my braille display, Word very um, kindly changed the H to a capital H <laughs> because it assumed this is the beginning of a sentence. Now, if we wish to backspace, I press dot seven for backspace and then space. Everything we do, every command that we input using the braille keyboard 
when one-handed mode is invoked, must terminate with a space. So what if I wish to enter a command such as insert T, the JAWS command, to make JAWS identify uh, the document or the screen that's open, the window that's open, say title command. Okay, We're going to incorporate a couple of things. Because this is our Braille display, we're going to use the JAWS Braille in commands. So I'm going to press dot five, eight, space, and space. So there's insert, and we're waiting for insert what? And we've got to tell JAWS insert T. So let's press dots two, three, four, five, and space. Document one dash word, print. And JAWS has read the screen title. If I want to turn off one-handed mode, we could go back to the configuration menu and drill our way through all the way back to one-handed mode and then turn it off the way we turned it on. The quicker way to turn off one-handed mode is to press dots one, two, three, seven, and right shift, followed by the space bar. You can see the display says one-handed off. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign-up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.